Hey, Robin Carroll here. Uh, so, what's on my mind? I get by with a little help from my friends, I guess, is the topic. Uh, my birthday was a few days ago. In fact, it was the day after the last video I did here. Um, I celebrated with a friend and went out dancing. Uh, found actually found a live bar band right downtown in my hometown in a little out of the way place that I never expected would have be packed full with a rock band really the music I listened to when I was younger uh, although I'll always be young as will all of you my artist friends um, don't believe any other lies uh, so, when I was younger, I, I felt alone. I had no idea that I could ask for help. I had no idea that help would come. I thought it's all up to me. I'm not sure if I would have told you that I believe this if you asked me, but that is how I acted. I acted out everything. I just didn't grow up in a house where there was instruction or leadership or support. It was very chaotic. It was just do this, do that, without, well, how do I do it? Go clean your room. Does anyone have like a gene for like cleaning their room that they just pull right out of their self and use? Well, I mean, it wasn't me as a creative person. I mean, I did decorate my room and put up uh, seasonal uh, paintings and uh, strands of color for different seasons. Um, but I had no clue about how to organize anything. Uh, we used to even have to get up on Saturday mornings. My sister and I'd decide who would wash and who would uh, sweep the floor. And <laughs> while well, other kids were going out to play baseball or play in a stream or I don't know, whatever you want to do. Uh, so I just thought nobody's coming no one's going to help me and you know what now I hear that no one is coming it is up to me except that I found out that other people learned if you don't know how to do something you can go out and find solutions by uh, getting help from other people uh, in fact I, I just never I did not learn that in uh I have uh, a niece who laughed at me when I told her that I quiet quit school in fourth grade. Um, I, first of all, I, I knew that I was intelligent and creative. I had, you know, kids that wanted to pay me for my artwork. And I actually saw some scores that I got on some tests when I was younger that were pretty high, um, really high. And so when they didn't put me in back in the day, the, the quote, room with all the smartest kids, I just said, the hell with you. You do not recognize my genius. I'm just going to do the bare minimum to get by. Not a really helpful attitude for me, but that's what I did. And I just, uh, I didn't know. I read, I read all the books in the library just about that were on my reading level. I took out all the books on natural history, how a caterpillar uh, turns into a butterfly and that kind of thing. And, and I actually had a teacher, hello, Mrs. Coffee, if you're watching, uh, that let me read at the back of the room in third grade because she said any kid that like to read that much, they're going to turn out okay. Uh, and reading has actually been one of the lifesavers for me. I love it. Can't understand it when I go into someone's house and there's no books. I, I don't, it doesn't compute. Uh, so, and I also remember in fourth grade being given an assignment to do uh, a report on something like uh, imports from South America or exports rather. And going up to the teacher afterwards, I was clueless. I had no idea, even though I read books and I was in the library, I had no idea you went and got a library uh, reference book to learn about something. And she said to me, the teacher, oh, did you know that there's a rubber plant that they extract the liquid from and that's how they make, you know, things from rubber? And I didn't. 
I went home and I drew a picture of probably something like a palm tree. I pictured it was something like that, being in South America, and and pictures of tires and anything I could think of that was made out of rubber. And it was one of those, you know, construction paper stapled together uh, reports, you know, where you space lots of space in between each line to make it puff it out. Uh, don't know how it was received, but. I just didn't learn. Now I know I can get help. And I'm thinking since it was just my birthday, I get by with a lot of help, a lot of help from my friends. Uh, and I just, I just got this card in the mail today from a dear friend. Look what she wrote on it. All these things about, you know, writer, listener, artist, me, because I get by with a little help from my friends. Have a great day.